In this video I'm going to look at downloading Windows XP mode and loading it within VMware Workstation Player. Now this video is in response to one I made about installing Windows 98 on a virtual machine as there's this website called WinWorld PC that lists installation ISOs and product keys for abandonware, so abandoned versions of Windows which are over 20 years old. Windows XP isn't yet in that category and it also has the problem of Microsoft product activation. Regarding Microsoft product activation, if you're running a Windows 7 Pro host PC, then Windows 7 Pro is licensed to run XP mode and VMware appears to have an activation pathway for this. If, on the other hand, you're running Windows 10 Pro, even though it's a free upgrade from Windows 7 Pro, the activation pathway is not allowed. So you'll likely get a 30 day free trial like I do in this tutorial video. So for this, we're going to need 7-zip. We're also going to need to download Windows XP mode from Microsoft. We'll need to download VMware Workstation Player from VMware. And in order to modify the VMware configuration file, we're going to use Notepad++. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is install 7-zip. So let's just double click the installer and install 7-zip. Okay, now right click the XP mode application, select 7-zip and then select open archive. Now click the sources folder and then click the XPM file. And what you want to do is highlight Virtual XP VHD and make sure it's highlighted and then select extract and then extract to the desktop. Okay, so this doesn't have a file extension. So we just need to rename it and add the .vhd extension to the end of it. So once it's named in Windows 10, you can right click it and mount within Windows Explorer. So you can see its contents and there's a sysprep folder. So perhaps you can go in and modify this. I've not tried this yet. Okay, so we can close this. And now we're going to go ahead and install VMware Workstation Player. So we'll just launch an application and select next. Accept the license agreement, select next. And use the default except for the desktop icon, select next and then install okay so once VMware workstation player is installed select finish and then go to the start menu and launch VMware workstation player so here we're going to select player file new virtual machine and then we want to select, I will install the operating system later. Select next, select Microsoft Windows, select Windows XP Professional. And you want it just to be XP Professional because it's 32 bit, not 64 bit. So we need the location of the virtual machine. So let's just copy that. In the next screen, it'll ask you to select the disk capacity. We're not actually going to use this drive, so we'll just select next. And we're going to customize the hardware and change the memory to four gigabyte. We'll change the number of processors to two. And 
will disable the network because it's a bad idea to connect an end of life operating system to the internet. Under display, we're going to change the graphics memory to one gigabyte. And now we can select finish. Okay, so now within Windows Explorer, what we want to do is paste the location of the virtual machine. And we want to copy this virtual hard drive across to the same folder. Okay, I get an error here because I've still got it mounted. So I'm just going to open up another Windows Explorer and dismount the drive. So I'll just right click local disk D and select eject. Okay, so now what we want to do is edit the virtual machine settings. So we can right click the virtual machine and select settings. And here we want to select add and we want to add a hard disk. And we select IDE and then we select use an existing virtual disk and then select next and then we select browse and now we're going to copy and paste the location of our virtual machine and we're going to need to change the extensions to all files and then we can load our virtual hard drive here and then select finish when prompted select convert and now that we've got this new hard disk, we can highlight the original one and select remove. So in order to use it, we're going to need to edit the VMware configuration file. So right click and select edit with notepad. And I'm going to add in the line for the XP mode here. So it's basically XP mode enabled equals true. And it should have the same spacing and same quotations around true, which will indicate that it's a Boolean value. Now it still doesn't run because it's essentially looking for disk zero and we've only got disk one. So what we're going to do is we're going to, first of all, we'll, we'll disable XP mode. So we'll change the Boolean to false and we can have a look at this later. And we're going to change this ID zero colon one dot file name equals virtual xp dot vhd to ide zero colon zero and we'll repeat this with the line below that says ide zero colon zero not present is true and now we're also going to delete this line ide zero colon zero dot file name equals windows xp professional dot vmdk I also accidentally deleted an additional line here. It doesn't matter too much in this case. It just means it's going to look for a virtual or a physical CD DVD drive when I launched a virtual machine. So you probably don't want to delete that additional line. In my case, I get this dialog box. So I'm just going to select no. And that's just because I deleted that line. Okay. So It'll ask you to download and install VMware tools. So select download and then accept user account control prompt. And now you'll be taken to the Windows XP mode virtual machine setup. Now, unfortunately, this Windows XP mode virtual setup has some strange mouse drivers. So when you double click into the virtual machine, you'll get into the virtual machine, but you'll not be able to move the mouse. And so you'll need to basically use the keyboard for this stage. So notice when you press the tab, 
then it moves from the wording of the license agreement to I don't accept this agreement to accept it press plus an A and then in the next screen you're going to need to press tab and enter and then use the arrow keys to change your settings so you need to continue using tab and enter to access all the settings you want to change and then press enter once next is highlighted you'll need to do this for the time as well okay so you'll get to this black screen and the setup seems to hang here so you need to force restart your VM so press ctrl and alt in order to release the mouse and go to power and restart guest okay so the Windows XP setup will proceed so you'll need to once again click into the virtual machine and here just press escape twice and you'll get to the Windows XP desktop so the first thing we want to do is remove the mouse driver so press Windows and R and type in appwiz.cpl and once again press tab until virtual PC integration components is selected and then press tab until remove is highlighted and then press enter and go ahead with the uninstall press enter to restart and in my case the virtual machine also hung here and a black screen so I need to press ctrl and alt to escape the virtual machine and then in the player menu I can force the restart and then select yes and Windows XP should boot up as normal so just press enter to to get into Windows so now you should have some basic mouse functionality and you can select update tools and begin the VMware tools install So select finish and then restart the virtual machine. And then press enter to log in. So now that VMware tools are installed, you should just be able to resize the virtual machine and it should automatically resize the mouse should work properly and you should be able to use drag and drop from your host PC so we can just change some of the notification settings and then it's a case of waiting for the Windows XP activation wizard to show so you should be able to force it by typing in the following C Windows System 32 MS OOBE.exe and then slash A. However, it's already shown here, so let's just select it. And if we go ahead and select, yes, I want to activate via telephone, it should generate a new installation ID. So whether Microsoft will activate your VM using this installation ID or whether it will throw up some sort of red flag, I'm not sure, I've not tried it. You can let us know in the comments if you do. It may also be possible to change the product key here, but again, I've not tried it. So I don't really have Windows XP retail product keys to hand. 
So I'm going to shut down the virtual machine and I'm going to now alter the VMware configuration file. So the line that we had before, xpmode.enabled, and we set it to false. We can now just change it and set it to true. Now in my case, I'm going to get an error when I launch this virtual machine because I'm not running Windows 7 Pro as a host. However, it is likely if you are running Windows 7 Pro as a host, your Windows XP mode virtual machine will activate and you'll be able to use it. So if you test this out, then also let me know in the comments if it works. But as you see, when we're running Windows 10 Pro, we get this error message. This system is not allowed to run in Windows XP mode. The virtual machine will now power off.